I can't believe they gave us access to the wild mouse coaster already. All right, we are here at the Columbus Zoo. And aquarium. <laughs> it has an aquarium in it. It does, it has an aquarium and it looks like there's actually theme park rides and all kinds of stuff. We haven't ever been here during the rain season. Obviously that stuff is all closed right now. The, the rides and uh, there's also a water park all closed right now, but maybe we'll come back another time also for that. But today we're checking out this place. Um, there's a light show this evening uh, for the Christmas time, but basically we're just kind of overviewing everything that they have. So come along with us. I hope you're ready and excited. Let's go. This place is huge. So we are remembering that we need to turn left right here at the two today. Um, and we're gonna have to come out and go to left, I think. But it is set up nicely. There's a little bus stop um, or a place where people can pick you up. Um, lots of stuff. So anyway, let's go see what they have in here. Coming in, you have the opening village area. Uh, there's a marketplace. There's the village coffee shop. Uh, there are some restrooms, and that's where I'm headed right now. <laughs> and our first stop is Adventure Cove. There's the bubbles. Check it out. Hey, you guys want to go see the bubble? Okay, it's so weird. It feels like you can't, like, like, yeah. Yeah, that's what the weird part is. <laughs> you guys have seen him before, but here's Drew and Yoko, too. This is pretty cool. Man, it feels like the water's, like, I mean, I know the water's right there, but feels like it's just water. This is so cool. Lighthouse Theater. A lot of this stuff is not open. Obviously, it's winter time, but it's cool. This is really cool. They make everything look cool in here. With a raven. The oh Look at the kitties. We're going to pet stingrays. I just want to know how they've kept kids from jumping in. Oh, it's so sweet. There's a baby stingray. There's two baby stingrays. They're so cute. The babies were apparently just born like just a couple days ago. Oh my word, there's so many stingrays. Man, they love you. They want they want petted by you guys. Hi, you want some attention? Hi! This one wants attention too! Hi, they're like little puppies! This is all closed, but they've got, they've got all kinds of different rides. They have a wooden roller coaster, it looks like. Yeah, this is where we got to come back this summer. Oh yeah, that's uh, I think like one of the oldest or something. They but it's recognized, they have a plaque by Ace. Oh really? Yeah. And she would ride all of these rides, wouldn't you? You'd ride this wooden coaster. I can't believe they gave us access to the wild mouse coaster we already. To. We are. We're right here. We're just I want to collect all the maps. I'm hearing they do a light show out here. We just heard a howl. <laughs> I'm scared, guys. <laughs> the buffalo. All the animals here have a lot of space, too. Character Cottage. We are sorry we aren't here to meet you during your visit today. Hopefully we can catch you the next time. They're all keeping each other warm. There they are. 
reindeer. Ooh. We found a photo op. No polar bear. Uh, I love all the underwater aquariums. It's cool to see fish above you. And this would be where the polar bears would be if they weren't pregnant, potentially. Wow, that's huge. Can you imagine running into a bear like that? Wouldn't that be scary? The heart of Africa. I hear if you come to Africa, you can ride camels. As a kid, I did come to the Columbus Zoo, and my memory of that is that I rode a camel. I remember nothing else. And honestly, between now and 1995, I'm sure this place has entirely changed. Go become a termite. <laughs> I love this. I love these reusable, disposable cups. Things are slowly starting to get lit up here. Okay, so this drink, um, it has notes of honey and of cinnamon in it, or at least that's what it says. We'll see what I think. Hmm. Okay, it's, I definitely taste the notes of honey and of cinnamon. I, uh, there's something about a sweet beer that I don't love, and it's maybe a bit too sweet. Uh, they did have like a Christmas cookie one. I think that would be way worse. Okay, they're going to get an Annie Ann's pretzel. And we are going into the Junior Zookeeper gift shop. Every place has these swaddle baby things. We've been to Disney, we've been to Cedar Point. And also this is pretty cute too. And now the zoo, they all have these. Feel it, feel it, feel it. Oh, it is soft. Look, it's really stupid. soft. It's yeah, sounds of the season. <laughs> Just for decoration. You know, I haven't really seen seahorses. It's a Pinocchio fish. It's a, it's a whale shark. All right, Manatee Coast. Going in to see the manatees. Wow. <laughs> Reptile. Man, like I said, everything indoors at this place. No wonder why they have so much in the winter, and apparently they do stay open throughout the year also. <laughs> I love doing that. Better <laughs> again. It'll bite you. Oh, look at the turtles all the way down here. All right, girls, are you ready? And the lights are out. I am very impressed with the many little like playground areas that they have. I think this is really cool. Look at that slide. Look at that slide. That's not a slide. It says enter here. I'm not oh, you enter here. Okay, it's not a slide. Congo River Market, a food court. Should we show him my mom at We are headed to the 4D theater right now. I'm not sure what this experience is. Now showing Rudolph 4D, is that it? Now showing Ice Age 4D. I don't know, whatever it is. We'll see what it is. It, there is a giant Rudolph here, so that would be thematically accurate. Got some lights with some EDM beats. And some gymnastics. 
And we also have gymnastics happening right here. All right. Oh, it's a small theater. All right, are you guys ready for the show? We bought two wristbands. Each of the girls has a wristband. And then we bought individual tickets for all of us adults. I didn't actually show that, but we did that. <laughs> I'm Oliver Tree now. So each of these tickets was five dollars. You can buy it or four dollars, I guess, for us. Um, other than that, you can buy a nine ninety nine uh, ticket for anything, any ride, all night long. And it has become substantially busier now. Uh, that was a really cute show. It was Rudolph the Red Nosed Reindeer, and it was really just like an abridged telling of the already very short story um, that airs on TV every year. Uh, so definitely fun, but man, I mean, people are just lining every pathway at this point. It is packed full. I imagine it's quite a thing for locals, but definitely a fun thing to come and see. The show on the lake. I'm sure we'll see more of that. The show on the lake just plays on a loop constantly, so you can go hit it or parts of it as much as you want throughout the night. All right, the character cottage is open now. Oh, slippery floor. Oh, cool. Hey V, how was the slide? Good? It was sweet. It's so sweet. Do you want me to take the camera in there? Oh, sorry. Going in the tunnel, through the tunnel. Beep, dear. It is kind of chaotic in here. There's just a lot going on, but there is also a treehouse for the kids to see. Then you come through here. And you have these guys here. Okay, so no characters, just a large experience. All right, camel encounter. That's where we're headed right now. Here in the heart of Africa. Who's ready to ride a camel? There go the girls. Now, this is the part that I... <laughs> what do you think? Oh yeah, bro. <laughs> How was that? Thank you very much for coming. We've had fun here. We may have to come back. What yeah, do you think? We might be seeing us eat hibachi. My friend. Well, we are going to hibachi next, aren't we? My friend answered. My friend called me on a camel, and we FaceTimed on a camel. I think that's a world record. Yeah, <laughs> that's a world record. I broke two world records. <laughs> record. I played Candy Crush on a carousel, and then I answered, and I was on FaceTime on a camel. I, uh, this is absolutely insane. You've got a beautiful day. And uh, also a time when people are off work and it's just crazy. And then here's a light show here. And here's the light show. The very end of the night. You can also get something to eat, eat while you watch the light mm -hmm. show. Well, I think we can safely say this may be one of the busiest nights of the year <laughs> for Columbus Zoo. So I guess if you know that you can deal with this kind of crowd level, then you definitely could come probably almost any day. But if uh, crowds like this are an issue, 
you may want to check to make sure that the weather isn't going to be perfect or it's not just going to be the perfect time of year when people are off of work. This place has just gotten busier and busier and I'm sure that will continue until at least around 9 o'clock tonight. Thank you guys so much for watching this very last winter themed video of the year. We talk about all kinds of travel throughout the Great Lakes area on this channel. Um, and uh, thank you guys for watching. Let's go. We didn't have to wait at all to get in. Look at all those people. That's crazy. So I guess lesson learned, come early. This is absolutely insane here. Um, all of the lines of traffic coming out all have to go into one line. Um, so it's just kind of organic. I think people would park right over here. I'm, I'm very confused and it's too dark to see a whole lot, but nobody is directing traffic. It's, it's absolutely nuts. Like they need to have something, some way to try to expedite this process. Um, this is probably the thing that the Columbus Zoo is the least prepared for right here. Um, definitely needs some workshopping <laughs> here uh, to help people get out. But other than that, it's been a pretty decent day. I've been glad to be here. Definitely ready to get out of here though right now. Ha, 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 ha.